Hey, what is going on, everybody? Jerma here with a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. And tonight, gonna be playing as the Engineer. And this is gonna be a big Century Engineer, no mini Century. Wanna show you guys a couple of things. Well, actually, show you one thing, because I kind of stand in the same spot the entire gameplay. But that is beside the point, because obviously, when you were playing as a big Century Engineer, you gotta stand in the same spot. And if you don't, your stuff's gonna get destroyed. Also, playing on the map Upward on Defense, which is a very good Engineer map. It's a very big map, but it's it's great for Engineer, because there's so many different spots you can put a Sentry Gun here. As you'll see, there are like three or four Engineers on this team, which is why near the end of the gameplay... By the way, the end of the gameplay, I kill almost the entire team without my Sentry. So I, I won't tell you what happens, but I, it's it's very, very cool. The very The last two minutes of this gameplay are very, very cool. So keep that in mind while you're watching the slug gameplay, I guess, while I'm just... Well, it's not a slug gameplay. No one's going to chant slug at this, but <laughs> it is kind of slow near the beginning, but I, I I wanted to tell you guys why my sentry gun is here, and instead of using the last two minutes in a clip... No, but this is all a one-life gameplay, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This is all a one-life gameplay. So I figured it's been a little while since my last one-life gameplay, so I have the whole thing here for you to enjoy... And my sentry, now I'm getting off track here, my sentry gun. The reason why it's right here is because there was already a sentry up in the top little nest area. Right here, the last point on upward, it's very, very obvious to put your sentry gun up in that little loft back behind me, sort of, to the left. That is the best place for a sentry gun here. But if it's already taken, you see, here's the bad part about that spot. If that spot is already taken, it is very vulnerable to people at these windows. See these two windows up straight ahead here in the top area, right, right up to my top right. If a soldier gets in that window, he will just harass the crap out of anybody that has a sentry in that loft. Now, if you have a sentry right here, that prevents that from happening. Because if they pick their nose out, if they pick their nose and eat it, <laughs> what? If they pick the, <laughs> if they poke their nose out here, they're gonna get shot by my sentry instantly. And vice versa, if somebody comes around this corner here, whether that be a demo man or a heavy, they will take this sentry out in one second. My sentry where it is right now will not stand a chance, unless of course it is being protected by another sentry. See, here's the thing about Team Fort, look straight ahead. If you see this guy that has the sentry gun right here, he is going to take all the brunt of the guys coming around the corner, and I'm going to take care of the guys that come through the top windows. And the guy up top, I'm actually not sure if he's there anymore, he is totally protected to do whatever he wants. He is kind of the anchor of the team right now, because if my sentry goes down, or if this guy's sentry goes down, we have another line of defense, and it's a great sentry placement. So that's the thing I'm trying to talk about right now, is tandem sentry gun protection. If you have two or three sentry guns on one team, and they're all facing... Because in Team Fortress, what I was going to say before, before I cut myself off right there, in Team Fortress, there are probably three or four ways to come at an enemy team. Whether it's a left tunnel or a right walkway or straight on. If you can block all three or four of those places with sentry guns, it's going to be very difficult for the enemy team to do anything. Because even if they come through with an uber, let's say an uber demo man comes over and takes out one of the sentry nests that's over on the, you know, on dust ball, right on the right side, he destroys the sentry. They walk 20 more feet and there's another sentry. And then after that, there's going to be another sentry up top somewhere. So you can see where it can get really, really difficult. And engineers, while I play out this last minute of the gameplay here, this is where I kill almost the entire team with revenge crits. I didn't want to ruin it in the beginning, but it's very, very interesting. So what I was going to say before this video ends is engineer, this is the reason why I love engineer. This is the reason why it is my favorite class. Yes, it is my favorite class. If you're new to the channel, this is my favorite class, Engineer. And I want to say, if the Medic is the quarterback, then the Engineer is the linebacker, or the offensive lineman, or one of those big, bulky, surly guys that protects everybody else. And that's why I like this class so, so much. You feel like you are the protector, you are the defender, and you really are. And it, it makes you feel good when you have a point really, really secure. And you got your dispenser up and you're healing people, replenishing people. I just like classes like that. When I played World of Warcraft, I played a priest. I played the support healers and stuff. So that is why I love 
the engineer. I also love the medic too, but I'd say the engineer is definitely trumps the medic in my favorite class. But yeah, I've, I've, this video is already over, and I, <laughs> I'm like talking on black screen right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys all next time. So take care, everybody.